Hello Year One, I hope that you are all doing really well at home. Today we are going to be learning about fractions. So yesterday we learned about how to find half of a shape or an object and today we are learning to find half of an amount. So before we start our learning, please can you write to your short date 1905-2020 and the LI to find half of an amount. Pause the video to complete this. For today's lesson you will need your workbook, a pencil and 20 small objects or 20 little pieces of paper. Make sure that you've got all of this before you continue with the video. Now for our recap today, here are your questions. There are something groups of something cookies. Here are the cookies. The train is something cubes long. One big red bucket feels fills four small yellow buckets. How many red buckets will it take to fill eight small yellow buckets? That one's tricky. What is two more than six? Now think about what more means before you answer that question. Pause the video to complete these. The answers are, there are two groups of four cookies. So we have two groups and each plate has four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember, just because they don't look exactly the same in the way that they are placed doesn't mean that they are not the same. The train is four cubes long. One, two, three, four. One red bucket fills four little yellow buckets and two red buckets fill eight small yellow buckets. Well done if you got that correct because that is really hard. What is two more than six? It is eight, so more means that it is getting bigger. Well done if you got those correct, year one. Now yesterday we learnt what half means, so pause the video to tell your adult what half means and has this cookie been cut in half? Pause the video to talk to your adult. A half is a fraction. When you half something you get two equal parts. Each part is the same. Remember, equal means the same, and when we are halving, we are getting two parts. Has this cookie been cut in half? No, because there are two parts that are not equal. So here we can see this is a lot smaller than this part, so it is not cut in half. Finding a half of groups. So this is my turn. I'm going to show you first. Here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 sweets. So if I'm trying to put it into half, how many parts do I need? Two. Now I am going to slowly start sharing my sweets between two plates to make two equal groups. One, one, two, two, three, three. Four, four, five, five. How many sweets do I have on each plate? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five sweets and five sweets. Ten shared into two equal groups is five. We can also say half of ten is five. So now it is your turn. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight counters. So you need to do exactly what I just did with the sweets and find out what half of eight is. Remember, you can use your small objects to help you if you need to. Remember, half means that we are making two equal groups. Now the answers are half of eight is four. So I have one group over here, one, two, three, four. And another group over here, one, two, three, four. Half of eight is four. Well done if you got that correct. If this is half of the buttons, how many are there all together? So this time we're not finding out what half of this group is. This is half. So if we have half already, we need to add the same amount because remember each part is the same. So here is one part and we need to add another part. Half of something is 
3 and we have added our next part which was exactly the same as the first and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Half of 6 is 3. Here is your activity. So everybody is doing the same activity today. Circle half of the pencils and complete this sentence. Half of something is something else. Half of six is colour half of each group. So not half of each pair, half of the group and half of the stars. Find half of each group and complete the sentence with these counters. Half of something is something. So you need to complete that sentence for each group of counters. And here is the extension activity. Seven is half of something else. So you remember you need to add the same equal group to seven to find your answer. Here are all of Timmy's toy turtles. He gives half to Miss Morgan. How many does Timmy keep? And now it is time for our shout outs. Nia, well done, some amazing halving. And Bathanan. And Abigail. Justina. Annabella. And Shreyas. Remember to send your work to the year one email address. We would love to see what you've been doing at home. I hope that today's lesson has been fun for you and if you have any questions, remember to ask your teacher. I hope you all have a nice day.